All right, here's what I'll do. I'll go through the timeline of events from last night. I will give you a couple updates. We have an image that we're going to share. I will get that email to everyone after we speak here. I'll take a couple questions, and Senator Carney, if you want to say a few words, and then that'll be it, okay? All right? All right, so we're good. Last night, Upper Darby Township Uniform Patrol Division received a 911 call for shots fired. Shots fired in the area of the Wendy's at 6 9 and Walnut was located to my right here. Officer, officers who were already in the area quickly determined that that call was unfounded. We received a second call, which led officers, directed officers, to the rear parking lot of the mosque, which is behind me, at 201 South 6 9 Street. There is where officers discovered a male lying on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. Paramedics pronounced that male deceased at that time. Officers were able to determine that it was a carjacking and the victim's car was taken. That was a 2018 white Toyota RAV4. That vehicle has since been discovered. It was discovered located on the 800 block of Cecil Street in the city of Philadelphia. That vehicle is now back at our police headquarters and a search is being conducted on that. As far as our victim, I'll identify him in a second. Our detectives have been working around the clock to get an image or images of the person of interest that we have here today. When we give this to you, there's two distinct things I want to take, you know, take notice to. It's the jeans that are being worn and the sneakers. We hope that someone will recognize those jeans and those sneakers and give us some information and turn this person in. For our victim, his name is, he's 65 year old Muhammad Rockman. He is a husband, he's a father, he's a friend, he's a co worker. Most importantly, he's a human being. No one deserves what happened to him last night. Nobody. I will say this. It's out of character for me. The person who is responsible for this is a coward. A coward in every possible word that you could describe a coward being. He could have taken that car and left Mr. Rockman there. He didn't. He chose to take his life. That individual will be held accountable for this. I can promise you that. I promise you because I know our district attorney here in Delaware County will hold that individual responsible for the crime, the senseless crime that he committed here last night. Again, our detectives have been working around the clock on this. We're asking anyone that has any information or may have been here to give us a call. That number is 610-734-7693 and ask to speak to the detective division. With that being said, I'll introduce Senator Corny if he has any words that he would like to say and then I'll take a few questions. Tim. Uh, I'm Senator Tim Carney, 26th District. Uh, I'm here really in solidarity with the Muslim community here and the mosque. This mosque has been an integral part of Upper Darby society now for many, many years. And uh, what happened last night was just un unconscionable. And there's no indication that it was specifically a hate crime, but that doesn't really matter. We're talking about a community that lives here, a community that thrives here. And we want to make sure that that continues to happen. So uh, this community has our, our continued undying support. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. As to what the Senate there, just to follow up, as of right now, all information we have, we believe that this is not a hate crime. We're biased towards Mr. Bachman's affiliation with this mosque. We believe that this was a carjacking that took place here last night out back, and that's how it is being investigated as of right now. One follow up I will say is to all of our friends here, the community, from the mosque that are behind us we stand together we stand united with you we were here last night and we will stand by your side and you have all of our word our commitment that we will hold the person responsible and we will find the person responsible for this mr rockman was also an employee of the city of philadelphia he worked in the prison system in the city of philadelphia i know there's a representative here today of the prison so again a, a human being a father a husband that was doing everything that you would ask of a human being to do and his life was taken from him here by this coward with that, if anyone has a couple quick questions, I will answer them, and then I will get this image out to everyone. What is it about the jeans and the sneakers that you are wanting us to pay attention to? So they're very distinctive. I, I will hold it up here, and like I said, I will get an image to everyone. You'll see in the image, the jeans are ripped and torn, and the sneakers are very visible. You can tell that they're a high-end sneaker with you know some coloring on them. So we're, this, this image right here has been enhanced the best we can. We hope to, again, get more images out there later on the day. Our detectives are working around the clock here, getting images from all the businesses and residents, as well as where the vehicle was located in the city of Philadelphia. Do you know if any words were exchanged between the victim and the suspect? We do not know that. What does the surveillance video show as far as the interaction? I won't get into that right now because that's still into the investigation. What I can tell you is this image was taken from 
one of the video cameras here and it depicts the person of interest that we're looking for. And the two distinct things on this image are the jeans and the sneakers that we want people to pay attention to and concentrate on. The president of the mosque has asked for increased controls around the premises during services. Will police provide those? Absolutely will. We have been here prior and we will continue to be here in support for the community here. We will absolutely be here and we have been here and there will be an increased presence around this area. Have you seen an increase in carjackings and deaths and that kind of thing? Car thefts, yes. Carjackings, no. We have had a few carjackings, but you know, thefts more than the carjackings. Is there any indication that this suspect or the, the, the person who's responsible was part of an organized carjacking ring? Again, it's too early in the investigation to get into that, but we just know that this was a carjacking. Do you think there's any connection to his employment as a prison officer? Again, too early in the investigation. We don't have any information to lead us that way. Again, like I said, I want to be clear. We believe that this was... <laughs> act of violence that occurred and it was a carjacking and that's where our investigation has led us right now is to concentrate on the fact that it was a carjacking. Do we know if he was leaving the prayer service or entering the prayer he service? He was coming to the prayer service. Okay. He never made it inside. I'm sorry? He never made he it inside. He did not, correct. Can you spell the difference from the prayer I will give that information that's to awesome. you, yes. Absolutely. And if no one has anything else, I will uh, let it be and I thank you and I appreciate it. Uh, before everyone leaves, make sure we get your email and the command staff will get you this image. Did thank you, you. Could you say how police were able to track down the school and SUV? I won't get into that yet because that's still part of the investigation, but it was recovered rather quickly last night on the 800 block of Cecil Street, the city of Philadelphia. And you said All he right? was a prison city employee? I'm sorry? What part of the... Yes, employed by the city of Philadelphia in the prison system. Yes. David, could you talk more about that? Sure, do you want to speak Yes, he was a correction officer for the city of Philadelphia. Um, he started his career in 2021 up until this day. Yes, sir. What was he like as an employee? Peaceful, a great guy. No complaints. He wouldn't complain about anything. It's sad that this happened to him. He was a great guy. In which facility did he work? Uh, the Riverside Correctional Facility. Started for how many years? Uh, for about talking? two years, two and a half. Years. So you knew him personally? Yes, I taught his class um, when he first came in, and then I see him periodically. But personally, no, but I knew a lot of people that knew him personally. They said he was a great guy. Robinson, president of local 159, district council 34. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks Thank everyone. You. Thank you all for coming.